Hello guys, it's Super GT here. Welcome to some multi-class racing in Forza 6. So this is the ABCS lobby. So there are four classes, A, B, C, and S, as you probably guess. And I'm in B class here in the Ford Mustang, the 2015 Mustang. Off the line we go, it's Nürburgring. So the interesting thing about these races is that we're gonna catch up with slower traffic, but at the same time, faster traffic is presumably gonna catch up with us and overtake us so it makes for a very interesting race so through the first turn I have not been smashed which is very rare around this circuit but there are only five of us in our own little race here you'd expect one of them to hit me but that hasn't been the case coming into turn three get parked up on the apex very nicely keeping to the far left for going back across the apex of turn four we've got smoke ahead there has been contact in the c-class race here these two guys they're just going to ram each other off. Um, very silly little children there, uh, just hitting each other off for no good reason at all. And I'm through past them, and we've got two more people to uh, overtake here from the C-Class race. So I don't actually get much time to go online uh, other than the videos I make. Uh, so I, I went online just to try this out. I saw JSR Devon uh, doing the multi-class lobby, so I thought I'd actually give it a go as well. Uh, I don't get much time other than smashing noobs in stock cars i can't believe i actually managed to beat a lot of people in a stock rolls royce around rio because that really should be punishable by death if you can't beat me in a stock i mean it was stock it handled like absolute shite um it literally took about 10 years just to get it to turn and then for any chicane to get the car to turn from one side to the other was even worse but back to this race we are still in the lead here although i wolf behind us is sticking very close never more than about 100 feet behind there he is in the golf i believe uh, i think i might actually get that car right i don't often get my car um guesses right i'm all, <laughs> pretty much always wrong with the cars in the game for some reason I, I think i just take too quick a look at it and make a very quick judgment so yes i am aware of everyone's comments in the comment section telling me of how wrong i am so yes uh, please do correct me if i'm wrong on any video which is most of them but through the last turn at the end of lap number one we're still in the lead here although we do have a car in between us now between myself and second place going across the line in first we are in an outright first in the entire race as well as our own class uh, B class here for the Ford Mustang now this car is actually quite good for this class it is quite hard to handle it's a little bit stiff and doesn't want to turn in as quickly as you like but I do have practice with the Rolls Royce I guess in that department so as you can see there it likes to lock up one wheel or one side of the wheels so you've got to watch out for that on the entry to the turns and it does happen throughout this race quite a few times it's going through the turn four complex there we're still ahead but Wolf is very close behind us not giving us a moment's rest at this moment uh, so let's see um, in a moment, I, I would assume that the S and A class cars would be coming through at some point. They normally do towards the end of lap number two or three in these races. Normally beyond halfway they start to overtake you. Obviously it depends on how quick you are and they are. But coming into the uh, hairpin at the end of the circuit, um, I am going to hook up quite nicely on the previous lap. I was a little bit too late in there and went onto the gravel almost. And you can actually see in the background there there was someone approaching so he will be going past us very soon now this makes it very interesting because you have to make the decision do you just stick to the racing line and risk that the other guy will go flying into you or do you lose a little bit of time and just let them pass uh, it's quite a, it's a decision you have to make i'm gonna have a quick look back there he's actually right in my uh, mirror there so i'm actually going to oh well that's easy enough he just overtook us on the exit no time lost at all that's exactly what you want. You don't want them to come up the inside at an awkward position and lose you a lot of time. So this is still a very good race. We still have a wolf right behind us in the golf, very close behind. He's keeping me honest. I'm not making many mistakes as it stands here, but this car is hard to drive. So if he puts more pressure on me, there's a chance I will, you know, lock a brake up or something like that. Go a little bit too wide and he'll have his chance to pass. So that's the end of lap number two still only about 200 feet behind me and we are in second place overall in the whole race as we've been passed by one s-class car there i think it's the ferrari bblm 
into turn one. As you can see, they're locking up the inside wheels, but we still manage to get around the corner all right. It's not always essential to hit the apex there. You don't lose too much time if you miss it by a little bit because of how sharp it is. So coming through turn number two into turn three, have to get on the brakes really early here to get it hooked up. Keep on the apex for a long time, as you can see there, and prioritise turn number four to give yourself a better exit onto this straight here. So, Wolf is actually closer than ever now. He is only about 70 or 80 feet behind. Um, constantly monitoring the distance marker things on the left there, just above the laps. Uh, always looking at that, so I don't actually have to look behind. I know exactly where he is from that. He's actually only 30 feet behind on that corner, which is right behind, as you can see there. Coming down into the hairpin once again. I'm not going to block the inside because you'd have to go for a very big lunge from that distance and he seems to be cooperating very well so far doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would just go for a ridiculous lunge so through there we are okay we have got another guy coming up to overtake us from the other class dipping my two wheels onto the curb there to get a better entry line to get uh, more speed through the chicane the Schumacher S there coming through into the next chicane a bit sharper this one getting on the brakes by the tarmac I'm a little bit too late as you can see lock up the inside wheels I'm a little bit too wide, I'm going to have to force him around the outside as he does and he's not even in a Golf, he's in a Civic so how wrong I was, absolutely stupid guess from me once again so, coming down the back straight, we've been uh, overtaken by Supra coming into the fast kink, can I get enough speed to go for a lunge into the final chicane I am getting a little bit more speed here and on the brakes I am a little bit later and I'm going to go a little bit too deep here so I'm going to appear, he's going to appear on the outside, there he does and that's a very good overtake from him to do the cut back on me on the chicane there and it looks like I'm going to finish second here after one mistake that it really is all it takes when you're racing very closely with someone else one mistake and they are going to punish you and I'm going to finish second here it was still a very good race and I'm very pleased to, be, uh, to have been part of that it's always good when uh, the other guys are cooperating fully and you can have a very good close hard fought race and that was actually a very good little set of overtakes at the end of that race there uh, going past each other a couple of times and so that was just one mistake that's an example of how one mistake can lose you a race so perhaps I shouldn't have been pressured by him because throughout the whole race I was just hitting my own breaking points and you know getting around the track quite fine I think that is a point in Forza though you shouldn't adjust your breaking points and turning in points uh, because of pressure from someone else behind you you should just hope that they <laughs> would be able to judge it Although that isn't the case normally in Forza. If you do brake early because your car's got bad brakes, most people don't know how to judge that. But this is going to be my bonus clip for the day. Just a very short clip here. We're going around another ABCS race in the Subaru BRZ or BRZ. Coming around the first turn at Rio. I'm going to graze the wall here. So I was hoping for a very nice race, but this Porsche is going to cut the inside and just wipe him out. Two of the um, leaders of the race smashed out already. So I was hoping for a good race there, but it didn't turn out to be one because of that. But that is going to be all for me today. I hope you have enjoyed this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the ABCS uh, lobby. Thanks very much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.